Boston's projected $90 million star may be leaving the team, as the Red Sox face a tough decision this winter. Welcome Red Sox fans share and subscribe to the channel and activate the notification to receive the latest news from Boston Red Sox. Help US reach the 2,000 subscribers so that our channel arrives for more people I count on all of you. With the 2024 Major League Baseball regular season now over, the Boston Red Sox can start looking ahead to 2025. Although they didn't make the playoffs, there were plenty of positive takeaways from the season. The team is full of young talent and clearly took a step in the right direction this year, competing for a playoff spot until the final series. With the right adjustments, Boston should be in an even better position to contend next year. However, the Red Sox will have some tough choices to make this offseason. One of the key issues is rebalancing the lineup, as the team had a surplus of left-handed hitters in 2024. Despite the overall success, this imbalance was noticeable, with Tyler O'Neill standing out as Boston's best right-handed hitter. O'Neill was phenomenal in 2024, hitting an impressive 31 home runs and driving in 61 RBIs in just 113 games. However, his future with the team is uncertain, as he enters free agency this winter. The Red Sox must now decide whether to bring him back for 2025 and beyond, which could prove to be a financially challenging decision. The veteran is expected to receive offers worth approximately $90 million over five years. Despite his strong performance, Ryan Bunton of Fansided predicts that O'Neill will not return in 2025. Bunton highlights Boston's depth in the outfield as one of the main reasons for this prediction. Right now, Boston has Jaron Duran, Seddon Rafaela, and Wiley Abreu as likely starting outfielders for next season, Bunton said. Additionally, there's Roman Anthony, a 20-year-old considered the top prospect in baseball, who could earn his MLB call-up in 2025. On top of that, veteran outfielder Rob Refsnyder is also under contract for next season. With this abundance of outfield options, O'Neill's situation becomes complicated. Although an offseason can bring unexpected roster changes, opening the door for O'Neill's return, it's unclear at the moment how he would fit into the 2025 roster. This uncertainty creates a complex situation for both the player and the organization, which must weigh the pros and cons of this decision. At 29 years old, O'Neill will be an unrestricted free agent, and his return to Boston will largely depend on how much Craig Breslow's front office is willing to invest in him. Another key factor will be how the rest of the roster takes shape after the offseason moves. While many fans would love to see O'Neill back in a Red Sox uniform, it's likely that the organization would need to make trades or adjustments elsewhere on the roster to accommodate him. The decision to re-sign O'Neill or let him walk involves more than just his individual performance. The Red Sox front office will need to consider the broader impact of this choice on the team's overall plans for 2025, particularly given the rising competition from younger talent in the outfield. Although keeping O'Neill may be desirable, balancing the development of young players and the budget will be crucial to the team's future success. If O'Neill does leave, it will mark a significant moment for the Red Sox, as they would lose one of their standout performers from the 2024 season. Nevertheless, with the depth of young talent in the organization, the team may be well-positioned to move forward without suffering too much. Players like Duran, Rafaela, and Abreu have already shown promise, and the arrival of Roman Anthony only heightens expectations for next year. Hello, super subscribers. Thank you for the incredible support for our channel. Today, I'm asking for your help with donations to further improve our content. Your contribution will help us continue bringing quality and frequent videos. Any amount makes a difference. If you can help, click the donation link in the description. We have special rewards for donors. Thank you for all the support and see you in the next video. Balancing the retention of a proven star with giving young talent the opportunity to flourish will be the central dilemma the Red Sox front office faces this winter. While saying goodbye to a player of O'Neill's caliber isn't easy, the team appears to be in a strong position to handle this potential transition. Whatever decision is made, it will have a profound impact on the direction the Red Sox take in the coming years potentially opening the door for new stars to emerge and adjusting the team's trajectory toward success. When considering the full picture, it's possible the Red Sox may decide not to spend the necessary amount to re-sign O'Neill, opting instead to direct those resources toward other areas in need of reinforcement. If this is the case, the team will have the chance to invest in players who can strengthen different positions, ensuring a more balanced and competitive roster for the future. As Red Sox fans eagerly await the team's off-season moves, Tyler O'Neill's future will be one of the most discussed topics. Whether he stays or leaves, his decision will ripple through the entire organization and could set the tone for Boston's next season. Red Sox fan, do you believe that Tyler O'Neill will leave the team of Boston in the next season? Leave your opinion in the comments and leave your like, e-share and subscribe to the channel and activate the notification to receive the latest news from Boston Red Sox.
Help US reach the 2000 subscribers so that our channel arrives for more people I count on all of you.